Welcome to the abandoned Port Mulgrave. Let's have a look at it. Today I'm out as part of my Yorkshire, or as I'm going to call it, Mikeshire series. I've come to Port Mulgrave to have a look. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the history of the place, but you can see all the old huts. It looks very post-apocalyptic, sort of Mad Max, end of time sort of a thing. Uh, fishermen have made these huts just using bits of driftwood and things that they've managed to find and things that they've managed to bring down and carry down. Each one is, is really interesting and full of character. But the problem is, is these cliffs have started to erode. And uh, some of the huts have been taken out by the erosion. The steps on the way down have been taken out by erosion and it is advised not to come down here. I've been speaking to the guy whose grandfather owns the land. We had a good chat. He didn't want to be on camera, but he was a lovely man. He taught me a little bit about the history of the place and, and about him keeping it in his family. So before I get started, just a quick disclaimer. Don't see the video and then I'll rush down here to have a look because the path is shut at the moment. So I'd maybe just wait, <laughs> hold off. But yeah, let's get into the history of the place. Port Mulgrave is a former ironstone exporting port on the North Yorkshire coast. Originally named Rosedale, but to avoid confusion with the ironstone mines of Rosedale in the middle of the North Yorkshire Moors, the area was renamed Port Mulgrave in honour of the local landowner, the Earl of Mulgrave. The harbour was constructed in 1856, initially exporting ironstone to Jarrow on Tyneside to supply Palmer's Shipbuilding and Iron Company. When the mine began to run out, Sir Charles Palmer established Grinkle Ironstone Mine, three miles to the east, and in 1875 a narrow gauge railway line was built to service the mine. The ironstone wagons from Grinkle were taken over bridges, then through a tunnel and along another inclined tunnel on a ropeway powered by a steam engine. The wagons emerged 30 foot above sea level in the cliffside. They were then led onto a gantry on the East Harbour Wall, ready for loading the ironstone directly onto the ships. Port Mulgrave was a busy port for 40 years, but due to a new railway link and cheaper foreign sources of ironstone, the harbour ceased to be used by 1920 and was abandoned. In 1934, Grinkle Mine was also abandoned and the harbour machinery sold off as scrap and the gantry accidentally destroyed by fire. The West Harbour Breakwater Wall was deliberately destroyed by the Royal Engineers to prevent its use as part of any German invasion during World War II. So thanks for joining me on another video in the My Yorkshire series. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Much love and I'll see you soon. Au revoir. Don't know where I'm going. Imagine if I just went into this hut now. Just close the door and that's me, it's where I live. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Right, much love, I'll see you soon. Au revoir.